Hello, uh, <coughs> this is the recordproduction.com Mix Masterclass Tips at the Loft with Mike Cave. Um, mm -hmm. We're looking at how to sit vocals into a mix. Um, okay, cool. tips for that? Um, I'm just going to try and cover a few little things that I do personally um, to get the vocals sitting. Um, one of the, it might sound really obvious this, but one of the things that I tend to do is try and leave the vocal in as much as possible because I do see a lot of people mixing records and they're, they're soloing things on their own so with the type of music that I mix personally it's very vocal lad so we need to make sure that the vocal sits with everything we're adding in as we go so that's one of the key things I'd say um, if you've got solo safe if you're using Pro Tools or whatever system you're using put the vocal in solo safe so that whatever else you're working on the vocal stays put uh, you can always dim it down or if you need to be more critical but just try and keep it in as much as possible and what I do as well I I actually as soon as I put a new element into my mix I'll sweep the EQ until it actually gets in the way of the vocal and just find out where it's fighting and then I'll notch that out um, just to keep so the space in the vocal. So you'll sweep uh, a boost? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll boost sweep uh, all the fresh elements I'm yeah. putting into the mix and, make, and find where it's actually making the vocal mm. um, it's swamping the vocal and then I'll cut that out and then carry on. So everything I'm adding in, I'm making sure that it's leaving space yeah. for, for the vocal. Um, also side chaining as well is like, I don't side chain everything or all the time, but to have, I, I have a permanent send from a vocal mm. to a side chain um, and then on various elements, I'll just have the vocal just ducking things out just to keep it yeah. breathing. Um, make sure that nothing's getting in the way of the vocal. Tends to not work so well on rhythm section stuff, yeah. but uh, keyboards, guitars, uh, any other elements like mm -hmm. that, it, it just helps that where the vocal is, it's just tucking things in yeah. a little bit automatically. Um, and just to clarify, that would be, say, a compressor on a guitar track or something, and you're just fed from the vocal. Too. Yeah, yeah. I was going to talk about high-pass filtering as well, because um, a lot of the mixes here where the vocal really shines, and it has all this beautiful air around it. It isn't so much the air you add to the vocal, it's the air that you take out of other elements in the mix as well. You'd be surprised how many elements don't really need much content above 18 and 15k. Um, so, uh, as a matter of course, I'll just experiment with all that stuff that's up there in those frequencies and just see what I can afford to take out. Yeah. And you'll find that as soon as you start taking some of that stuff out, the vocal just comes to life. So you haven't actually touched the vocal, it's just the stuff around yeah. it. Um, so that's something to try as well. Um, obviously, it's going to work better on on some elements that, than others, um, but it's all to be experimented with, really. Um, also, I'd say don't be afraid to use more than one compressor on your vocal as well. Mm. A lot of people seem yeah. to shy away from yeah. over compressing, but uh, with, we've got so many choices with plugins now with, with compressors. They all have different characters, yeah. so you might find that you're using one for one type of sound and then yeah. one straight after it. I mean, that's something thing. that I do quite a lot with really loud dynamic vocals. Um, yeah, you've got to be careful setting them up but there's definitely scope for trying out combinations of different compressors mm. to do different jobs and to hold hold the vocal in, in place. The other thing I was going to say about um, sitting vocals, for me I tend to do most of my vocal rides on little speakers. Yeah. So whether it's Oratones or a little iPod speaker or something mm. like that, um, I'd say I know where I am a lot more with vocal, the way the vocal sits mm. on those type of speakers. If you put, if you put, as soon as you put them onto glorious speakers, everything sounds great. Yeah. So you're fooling yourself in that respect. Right, right, yeah. um, and at low level as well. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I find I can judge things a See lot what better. Pops out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, there's a few pointers. Excellent. So that's how to sit vocals into a mix.